Greetings, HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And some of you are watching this video because it's been linked from the uh, Alpha 2, the CM9 Alpha 2 video. And one of the things that I was unable to show in that video was how to get rid of the classic nerd uh, from your Moboot screen. And let me just give you an example here. I'm going to go ahead and reboot my device and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, originally I was trying to remove it from uh, the boot folder using ES File Explorer and for whatever reason it wouldn't work and I, I realize now the error in my way and uh, I see what we can do to actually get rid of that uh, uImage file. And so I'm rebooting now or at least I'm attempting to. Let me just flip this back on. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this will bring us up to our Moboot screen. Now you'll notice I have Boot Web OS, Boot Site Engine Mod, Clockwork Mod, Classic Nerd, and we can have both. We can have Classic Nerd and Cyanogen Mod at the same time. Uh, one will obviously break the other. And so what we want to do is we want to get rid of the Boot Classic Nerd from our Moboot screen. Some of you may have uh, Evervolve. Uh, some of you may have uh, other versions uh, floating around on your Moboot screen, and it just causes a big mess to occur. So so we want to get rid of these things. So I'm going to boot back into Cyanogen Mod now. And again, uh, for those of you who aren't coming to this from uh, my other video, uh, I am currently running Cyanogen Mod 9 Alpha 2. This is the one that fixed Netflix and HD video and all of that stuff. Uh, this uh, video here is very generic actually because all I'm going to do is show you how to remove things from your boot uh, folder. Now, uh, originally just adding in ES File Explorer, giving yourself root access uh, would, would give you uh, proper rights, but not in the boot menu or in the boot folder. So let's go in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Going into ES File Explorer, uh, normally we would make sure that we go into our settings and scrolling down to the very bottom, make sure Root Explorer and Mount File System are both checked off. That's still a requirement here. You still want to do that. But the difficulty with this is that when we go into Favorites and then we go into the Root here and we find our boot folder. Normally we would be able to go in and tweak this to our liking. So I'm going to just give you an example here. I'm just going to press and hold this. Uh, and delete. Uh, are you sure you want to delete? Now this is a file we're trying to get rid of is the uimage.classicnerd. If we get rid of this file it will take it off of the MOBA menu. But if I hit OK you'll notice it says cannot be deleted. That's unfortunate because that's exactly what we're trying to do. So let's get out of ES File Explorer and we're going to go into our terminal which is right here. Terminal Emulator. Now this is uh, kind of a small screen. Let me let me zoom in a bit and show you what I'm going to do here. Just one moment here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do in this, and this is basically what you would get if you were going to ADB into it from your computer. I'm just trying to show you how to do it without having a computer be involved. The first thing we're going to need to do is get uh, super user access. So I'm just going to type in SU and enter and you'll notice that the uh, it changes to an, a uh, a pound sign as opposed to the dollar sign. That means that we have the ability to go in and type something in uh, and it'll actually take with super user access. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in mount space dash O space remount comma rw space forward slash boot. Now what this will do is this will remount the boot folder in a read and write capability mode. So by hitting enter it doesn't say anything. But now when we go into ES File Explorer then we have these options here of the things that we can delete and you'll notice there's Cyanogen Mod and Clockwork Mod. The one in particular I'm trying to get rid of is Classic Nerd. If I now hold and press and hit delete 
and say OK, it says that it was deleted successfully. And I, I, I hopefully here back up. OK, now it's gone. I was able to delete it. And all that I did was in the terminal, and I'll go back into the terminal to show you, is all I did was type in that mount. And I'll put that in the video description as well. But that gives you the capability of modifying what's in that boot folder. And uh, I don't advise uh, going in and playing around in that folder, just getting rid of the things that you need to get rid of. So that's the quick and easy way of getting rid of this. Now, you could also go into WebOS and do it from a program called Internals uh, Pro, but, and then I have a video for that, but I was looking for a way to do it from the Android directly. So let me just reboot the device here. And we'll take a look at our MoBoot and we'll see what kind of uh, results we get by removing that. And again, the reboot doesn't actually reboot it, just kind of turns it off. Holding the power button to turn it back on. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Now, the unfortunate side effect to this is that now it's going to boot into WebOS by default. I'll have to choose Boot Cyanogen Mod. Now, there is a way in WebOS to go in and uh, tweak the uh, which one of the MoBoot items pops up first. There's a Cyboot uh, tool that you can get from the preware, and I have a video on that. And if you want to tweak which one of these is done by default, that would be what you'd use. I have yet to find a Android equivalent to change the MoBoot function. I'll have to uh, dig around for something like that. But you can see now very clearly that the classic nerd is now expunged. It's gone from the MoBoot screen, so no worrying about accidentally going into the wrong one. And again, this same function can be used to remove Clockwork Mod. It can be used to remove uh, Twerp if you still have that loaded. Uh, it can be used to remove Evervolve or any other uh, you know, brick, classic brick, whatever it is that uh, the other kernel. You can use this this process I just showed you to get rid of those items off of your MoBoot screen. So I'm going to go ahead and boot back into my Cyanogen Mod, and really, uh, that's all there is to it. So uh, this has been. Reverend Kyle showing you how to remove items from your MoBoot screen in uh, Android.